Well, hello there, Skywinders. Welcome back to another episode of Skywind 007. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at this. This is the Watch On TV and Streaming Remote. So I got this for free in exchange for my opinion, like all the other remotes. That's why I'm reviewing it. And uh, this one in particular doesn't have any numbers, as you can see. So it's really meant for TV and streaming, um, like a smart TV. It's not for your regular over-the-air uh, television set because there are no numbers so you have to keep that in mind before you buy this and also there's no reason there's nothing here that says it's backlit and I do find that to be very important so let's open it up and by the way I lost my microphone so the audio is not going to be as good as it normally is until I buy another microphone Okay, so it does come with instructions, of course. It does bring the AAA batteries, so that's a good thing. These are the instructions. They look very simple, so that's a good thing. And over here, uh, there's some more information. So what I want to do is... um. I'm going to show you all the codes and if you're not interested in that you can ignore it so I'm going to leave that to the end of the video I'm going to show the code like that so you can look for whatever you're looking for or you can just ask me on the comment section so if you need that information you can, you can just skip through this and go to the end of the video so now let's look at this remote it's very nice high quality nice rubber very satisfying listen to the click very nice probably one of the best ones I've had so far as far as the um, the quality of the rubber and it has three three app buttons so that's a good thing so let's get started let's install the batteries very simple Remember, these are AAA batteries. Okay, so there are two ways to program this remote. The first one is auto code search, and the second one is direct code entry. So let's start with auto code search. So the first thing you want to do is press the device category that you want. So you got two options TV and stream. TV and stream. Then you're going to press. So let's press TV. Let's do that again. TV. Then you're going to press and hold setup. Press and hold setup. And you're going to see that um, the power button glow. Then you're going to press input. You press it once. And then you're going to uh, select the category 1, 3, 4, and 8. So that corresponds to, the, to these categories over here. Let me show you. one three four and eight so my category is going to be one so here are the numbers one two three four five six seven eight nine and zeros one two three four five six seven eight nine and zero so i'm going to select one let me turn off the lights so let's start doing that again because it timed out so press the category TV press and hold setup press input and let's do the category I'm, I said I'm going to do one and then it's going to start sending codes you see it flashing like that it's sending two codes at a time to the TV whenever the TV reacts you just press OK within two seconds of the TV reacting and you're done so let's review that again select TV or stream so I'm gonna select TV press it once press and hold setup that lights up press the input key that flashes once select the category minus one 
like that, number one. And then it's gonna automatically send those codes. You're gonna see it flashing like that. Whenever my TV reacts, whether it turns on or off, I just press okay right away and you're set up. So let's go to the TV and let's do this. Okay, so it's dark in here, but you can see the buttons here. I'm gonna start by pressing the TV button. You can choose stream or TV. I'm gonna press TV, press it once. You can see that flash, then press and hold setup which is the center one, you can't see it. Set up right there, press and hold. And the power button turns on. Now press input, press it once. And then select a category, my category is one, so it's this key right here. And then aim it at the TV. And it's gonna start sending codes. And once the TV reacts, I'm gonna press okay. Okay, so I press OK, so it'll keep that code. So now we're at the right code. So now it's just a matter of testing it around. So I know you can't really see it, but let's see the volume. So it controls the volume. Let me zoom out a little. You can't see. Um, let's uh, do input. So it controls input. So what else? I know it's dark, but it's working. So let's power it off and see if that'll work. Yeah. So that's how you do auto code search. Okay, so now it is time to program this by direct code input. So the instructions are basically the same, except that we're gonna skip this step right here, the press input. We're not gonna do that. And here, instead of entering a category, we're gonna enter the code over here on step number four. So basically, you are going to press um, the desire button right here, either TV or stream. I'm gonna press TV. Let me turn off the light. I'm gonna press, um, like I said, I'm gonna press TV. That's the first step. Step number two is press and hold the setup button. You press and hold and you're gonna see this turn on. So you're gonna skip the, the step of, of uh, pressing the input key. You're, you don't have to do that. You do not wanna do that. And now you can enter the code and the keys are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. Okay, so let's try that out. Let's do a direct code entry. So I already know my code for my TV is 16641. So let's try it out. Step one, select TV or stream. I'm gonna select TV, so press it once. Step two, press and hold setup. That lights up. So on step three, you're, gonna, you're not gonna do the input key. Step three is just um, putting in the code. So it's one, six, six, four, one. And then that goes out and that means you're ready. So let's do that again. So remember the keys, I wanna remind you that the keys are, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. So let's do that again. Press TV once, press and hold setup. Button lights up. So now it's time to enter a code. So it's 16641. So 16641. And you are done. So now let's go to the TV and test that out. Okay, so now let's program this for um, the code that we set. It corresponds to my TV, which is 166. Four, one. So press TV or stream. I'm going to press TV. Press and hold setup. Okay. 
So now I'm going to insert that code. So it's one, six, six, four, one. So it should be programmed. So let's try to turn it on. There we go. Let's see if the volume control works. Yeah, so it's working. Let me turn it off. So overall, I think I covered the main topics. So the next thing I want to do is uh, give you my final thoughts about this. So overall, I think this remote is perfect. I uh, The only flaws about it is the lack of a backlit 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 keypad excuse my language so um the only thing that lights up is this power button and that's only that's mainly for your programming purposes so that's the one flaw that it has another issue is that there are no no numbers so basically you have to keep memorizing that so you can't lose this if you lose this, well, you're stuck with watching this review on YouTube. So just a friendly reminder, this is um, when you want to input numbers. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. So you're going to have to be doing this every time you input numbers. That's going to apply for the categories. That'll narrow down the, um, the auto code search. Or... When you're doing a direct code entry, you're going to have to be working with these keys. Take my advice, do an auto code search. It takes a little longer, but it's a lot simpler. Now, so do I recommend this? I do recommend it for that price range, even though it doesn't have a backlit keypad. I'll, I'll give it a five stars out of five, given the given the price even though it has that one flaw that it doesn't have uh, the backlit backlit keypad and i also the other issue the other issue is that it doesn't have the numbers but um it does simplify the remote so that's actually a good thing in the long run it just makes programming a little bit more complicated okay so we're done with the review so the only thing left for me to do is show you the codes So again, you can always um, leave a comment if you want me to look up a specific brand. If not, you can just look through this. So I'm going to start with the category of TVs. Audio amp.
Blu-ray. CD. Media box. DVD Projector.
TV box. PCR Okay, so that is it, folks. I don't know if I missed any codes. If I did, just ask on the comments, and then I'll look it up for you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and thumbs up.